This video will show you how to connect the DMP Cellcom SL to the keypad bus of an Ademco Honeywell panel. This keypad bus connection captures alarm data and forwards it to the DMP central station receiver. The connection also allows app users to arm and disarm their panel, as well as add, edit, and delete user codes from the DMP Virtual Keypad app and from myvirtualkeypad.com. To activate the Cellcom SL in Remote Link, select the Cellcom SL from the list and click OK. Select the Programming Menu option and select Communication. Change the communication type to Cellular Network and select Activate. Enter the MEID and choose the rate plan. We recommend the Cellcom SL rate plan. Then select Activate. When installing, mount the communicator away from metal objects in a secure, dry place. Do not mount inside or on a control panel metal enclosure. Using 18 to 22 gauge wire, connect the positive 12 volt and ground terminals of the Cellcom SL to the ECP aux power and ground terminals of the Ademco Honeywell panel. Make sure to perform a battery calculation to ensure that the Cellcom SL, along with existing connected devices, do not exceed the panel's rated output. Identify the ECP bus in and out connections on the host panel. Directly connect the negative terminal of Zone 4 of the Cellcom SL's terminal strip to the host panel's ECP bus in terminal. And connect a positive terminal of Zone 4 on the Cellcom SL's terminal strip to the ECP bus out terminal on the host panel. Connect the Cellcom SL system battery to the J26 battery header located above the tamper switch. Using a DMP Model 330 programming cable, connect a DMP alphanumeric keypad to the J8 programming header in the lower left corner of the communicator. To enter the Cellcom SL programmer, press the reset button. Then, from the programming keypad connected, enter code 6653. Navigate using command to communication. Press the top row select key to enter into communication. Navigate to account number and enter the account number that the Cellcom SL will send to the receiver. Navigate to first IP address and enter the IP address where the Cellcom SL sends cell messages. Go to System Options and press the top row select key to enter into System Options. Navigate to Keypad Input and select the top row select key. Select ECP to allow the Cellcom SL to communicate with the Demco Honeywell panels over the Demco Honeywell ECP bus. Navigate to Stop and select the top row select key to exit the Cellcom SL programmer and save all programming data. Next, we're going to configure the Ademco Honeywell control panel to communicate with the Cellcom SL. At the Ademco Honeywell keypad, enter programming mode. Select 4112800. Select star 29. Enable IPGSM appears on screen. Select 1. This says that yes, you are using a communication device. Select star 54. Enter 0 for no signaling delay. Select star 55. Enter 1 to enable communication to the Cellcom SL. Select star 84. Enter 0 to enable the use of the app. Select star 193. Enter 10 to enable the Cellcom SL ECP bus address. Select star 99 to exit programming mode. In order to be able to add user codes from the app, the Ademco Honeywell User Code 2, the System Master, and User Code 2 on the Cellcom SL should be programmed with the same user number. Using the keypad connected to the Cellcom SL, press Command until menu No Yes appears. Select Yes and enter your user code and press Command. Navigate to User Codes and press the top row select key to enter. Select Add. At the User Number prompt, enter 2 and press Command. At the user code prompt, enter the user code of user number 2 in the Ademco Honeywell panel. The default is 1234. Enter a username and press command. At the user code master prompt, select yes. You successfully connected the DMP Cellcom SL to the keypad bus of an Ademco Honeywell panel. Users can now arm and disarm their system, as well as add, edit, and delete users from the DMP Virtual Keypad app and from myvirtualkeypad.com. 
Documentation on this application and other available applications for the Cellcom SL Series Universal Communicator can be found at dmp.com.